Hey everyone, this is Lenny here. Whoo! I just got out of Godzilla minus one in IMAX, no less. This movie cost $15 million to make, and we have fucking Warner Brothers, DC, and Marvel spending. $300 million on movies with special effects that seem like they're not even halfway rendered and we get this for $15 million. Hollywood, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, all that aside, yes, I just got out of Godzilla Minus One. This is the new Toho Godzilla movie, their first uh, since 2016. This is a, you know, a, a kind of a... 70th um, anniversary celebration of Godzilla or Gojira, um, if uh, anyone knows the uh, the original Japanese uh, film. Um, I grew up on Godzilla. I grew up uh, watching the original um, 19, uh, I think 54 uh, film. I grew up watching Godzilla in you know guys in in rubber suits fighting fighting it out. Um, Godzilla's kid. I think that's Godzilla's Revenge has Godzilla's kid in it. Um, so I grew up on Godzilla. I'm a big Godzilla nerd. So this movie is just is just right up my real house. We also have Godzilla X Kong coming out next year. That looks like that's just going to be dumb, big, dumb popcorn fun. This is a lot more serious take on the property. So this takes place right after World War II. And Japan is trying to rebuild after the war. Um, and Tokyo is decimated. It looks like a complete war zone. It's just rubble. And now they have to deal with a new threat, which is Godzilla. Now, another thing that's crazy, if anyone remembers, one of the big criticisms of the 2014 Warner Brothers version of Godzilla. Um, it was, you know, the human drama and the human element just just wasn't that great. Apart from Brian Cranston, a lot of the human drama just wasn't great that great. And a lot of people were, was like, look, just give us Godzilla. This is an example of where the human drama works. So we follow um, a an ex kamikaze pilot that um, didn't didn't do his job really um, as a, as a kamikaze. He came back uh, to an island alive, um, and at that point, um, he and um, the people on this particular island encounters Godzilla. He and another person survives, and this uh, ex kamikaze pilot um, has survivor's guilt. He has PTSD. Uh, when he returns home from the war, um, a woman gets on him for, um, you know, he was supposed to die with honor and he didn't. Um, so he's like shamed. Um, he befriends, well, I guess that's not really befriending. It's more of a meet cute with uh, a young girl uh, who has a baby. And um, the three of them eventually become a, a bit of a family. Um, a few years pass and Godzilla eventually uh, rises and then it's up to Japan to uh, to figure out how to uh, take out this threat. Um, so, like I said, this movie was made for $15 million. So the first thing I want to say that this Godzilla looks amazing. He's a lot bulkier, um, but he also moves really fast. And this Godzilla is a dick. He's a dick. Um, he is just pure chaos and anarchy and, and is definitely seems to serve as, as an allegory, um, for, for the destruction that Japan faced, um, in the war, especially when it comes to, uh, the nuclear, uh, bombings of, uh, Hiroshima and, uh, Nagasaki. Um, so yeah, the special effects are tremendous. The cinematography is great. Um, the director is Takeshi um, Yamazaki. Um, he did a brilliant job with this. Like I said, in terms of mixing uh, the human element, the human drama following this kamikaze um, and this family dynamic that's been uh, created 
and being able to intersplice that with all of the action uh, with Godzilla. And those action scenes with Godzilla are all top notch, every single one. And the destruction that he causes um, is insane. And, you know, we get to see um, the use of his atomic breath. And his atomic breath is basically a nuclear disaster. Um, it's basically a nuclear blast in itself. Uh, which is just a whole new kettle of fish with uh, the, the powers that this Godzilla has. He's definitely uh, super powered. He has uh, some regenerative uh, properties. This Godzilla is just dangerous and it's just a killing machine. Um, yeah, th this, um, the, like I said, the cinematography is great. The score is great. The editing is great. Um, it's just uh, such a scary, intimidating Godzilla and it works great with um the main theme which is kind of the the human spirit of the Japanese people and the idea that even through the darkest periods that J Japan has gone through there are still people that want to live that didn't want you know all of this death and destruction that Japan, you know, got into when um, they became part of the Second World War and the Axis powers. There were soldiers, um, and but you know, the Jap there were people, um, you know, of J from Japan that that also didn't want this at the same time, and that were human. And I really appreciated uh, this movie, really getting to, into that. And this movie just gave me goosebumps when I was in the theater. I mean, there are scenes where you could hear it pin drop because the acting is so good. The main actor, the main kamikaze actor, and I, I can't think of his name off the top of my head, um, but he is so, so good. Um, and you really feel everything uh, that he went through. Like I said, all the uh, mental health issues that this dude went through in terms of PTSD and um, survivor's guilt. Uh, he just really um, expressed that so well. Um, and you were able to really feel um, the weight of his emotions. And he hangs out with a ragtag uh, group of people. They go out and his job is to um, get my old minds from from the war. Um, and he's with a, a ragtag group of seamen. Those scenes are kind of reminding me of Jaws. Um, there's also a scene that kind of reminds me of a Christopher Nolan movie. I'm not going to spoil it, but once you see it, you'll get it. Uh, but yeah, man, this movie was fucking brilliant. This is like top three of the entire year for me in terms of best movies out this year. See this, see this in IMAX, see it as soon as you can. Um, I know this movie is, is making some money. It's getting a lot of critical acclaim. Man. Believe the hype. Believe the hype. This movie is amazing. It is fantastic. See it now. That's it. That's how I felt about Godzilla Minus One. What did you guys think of the movie? Leave your thoughts. Comment on the video. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get notifications as well. Thanks a lot, everyone. Take care.